Josh, today we're going to be unboxing something very special. My brand new phone. The Samsung. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? I was waving to my reflection in the Note 9 box. Oh, okay. I thought it was, you were giving me signs. Right. The Samsung S9. No, the. <laughs> sorry, I blew, but the Galaxy Note 9. This is a very special unboxing, so I'm going to be doing all of my videos on this for future reference. So you can see it here. The packaging is really nice, actually. It always always has been with um, the Samsung phones. Always so nice. And I wonder if this one's going to follow suit with all of the others. So I've got my limited edition knife here. I'm going to get in very good, very good, very gently. I can't cut it. I will be doing a review of this phone after I've used it for a while, but obviously I want to use it and then I can let you guys know what I think of it. So now out of the fashion, you can see straight away how nice, that's like bezeled a little bit, just like how cute that is. The pen, I can play Disney Heroes with a pen now. <laughs> Dreams do come true. So here's the box here, it just looks so good. It is a really good unboxing experience for Samsung, as they say. <laughs> so. Keep this, that can stay up there, with all of these unique pillows that I created. And then we've got the Samsung logo. And obviously before you open one of these um, bad boys, you need to make sure that this is not broken. I don't know why I'm telling you how to open a box, you guys know that's not the point. Hang on, let me open it. God, this knife is blunt. Jeez, this knife is so blunt. Got it! So you break the seal at the top. Ah, uh, so unfortunately it's not magnetic anymore, which has upset me, but it just comes out like that. You ready? Are you ready for the reveal? So we've got... Galaxy Note 9, and you can see how nice, that is nice, it's not as cool, it used to be cooler when it was magnetic, because of when I bought the S9 Plus. Nice little easy lift. So we've got, oh, you know, all the bits of rubbish, we'll mess around with them later. And there is the beauty, look at that. That is huge. I think that's 0.1 inch bigger than your one, Ethan? I, I don't know, Ethan's using the One Plus at the moment, so I'm not 100% sure. So right, let's get it out, let's get a better angle on it. Is that full tag there? Yeah. So you can see, I'll get it from there. You can see the phone there, how beautiful that looks. So obviously it's got all the same ports and everything, just the C port, but it's, it's beautiful because it keeps the headphone jack. And I hate the fact that phones are getting rid of them, because when you want to put headphones in, you want to put headphones in. You know, that's it. And then obviously you can see, They've got, they redesigned the back and they moved the fingerprint sensor away because before it was up here, now they've moved it. So when you hold it, it's still not really that reachable. But I mean, you can reach it when you hold a phone normally, as you can see here, which, which is still pretty decent. And if it can turn on, I'll turn it on now, but I don't know if it will. There you go, turned on, Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Is it curved? Yeah. So what are your first thoughts on this phone before we show them the little bits inside the box? Straight away, it looks so much nicer than my old Samsung. Um, I, prefer this, I prefer the shape of it, it's, like, it's more blocky, so it feels quite nice to hold. This is the best display to probably ever be on a phone. But obviously that's what you paid for, isn't it? Because this is the best. I've always liked Samsung, because that's why I wanted to get it. So, so the display is pretty good from straight off the bat. I mean, I'm only looking at a white paper, but it looks good. And it's nice, it's nice to hold. 
Um, it, is, it is quite nice to get your finger up there as well. So, oh, I need to insert a SIM card before I can do anything really, but. There it is. Gloss back. There was no choice in backs. That was the only back you could have, wasn't it? Yes, it was just there were three colours: pink, blue, or black. Let's yeah, focus on there. Show you the top. This isn't standard top, obviously, but before I show you the whole thing from the side. Obviously, the lock button's normal place. Yeah, I think. Is then that's the Bixby button, isn't it? Yeah, you still can't. Volume really button. Bixby. Then headphone jacks, speakers, USB-C chargers, there's obviously fast charge. Does it do wireless charging? Yes. Yeah. I've, I've got a special wireless. When I, um, I've also ordered the, the new Galaxy Watch, so I will be unboxing that as well. And it also comes with a special wireless charger where you can put that on it and the watch and they charge together, so it'll just look really cool. Which we'll do a review on that as well. Yeah. So let's get into this quickly. So obviously you've got to agree. Uh, I mean, you're not fast about seeing this. Let me just press next, and we'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll leave that to update. So we'll leave that on there. So there's the Samsung, and now we'll have a look and see what we've got in here, which is the rest of it. So obviously, actually, first of all, let's talk about what's inside this phone. So I've got six gigabytes of RAM. It's 128 gigabytes of internal storage, and that's for all of your apps and um, photos and well for everything mainly apps because you can put an SD card in, which I've got a 32 gig one, so I've got around 200 gig on my, on my phone when I put the SD card in. And if I ever need to, I saw you could buy like a 500 gigabyte SD card for 30 quid. So if I ever need to start doing more vlogs or anything, I can, I'll never run out of room. And it's liquid cooled, first phone to ever have that. And it's got a Snapdragon. So like every phone has. Yeah, well played. <laughs> So if I can get this pin out, oh, this, this is difficult. This is difficult to navigate around. What? So we've got a quick start guide. Bin that straight away. Which I don't need. I think that was it in there. Do you know you, you've missed one thing? You haven't shown the pen yet. Yeah, that's you have to stick around to the end. Ah, uh, okay. There's the. The little dongle thing to pop it out. That this that was pretty rancid, that packaging. And we'll see what's under here. So I'm gonna lift that bit off. And um, we have the fast charging block. Now I always like to make sure I keep my eyes. So I always like to keep my eyes on the, the one you actually get because this is designed perfectly for that phone. So when you start buying them off Amazon or random places, you, you know, you're not getting the fast charge full capabilities, as you could say. And also what's... Now, that, this is actually quite a lengthy wire. They normally don't... I'm going to be using this one to charge my phone. Because I also need... So that's quite... You know, that is quite lengthy, that. You can see there, that's this view. Normally they give you these little dinky ones, which are pointless. So obviously, there's that set up and ready to go. That'll work how it should, it's just a charger. That is proper stuck on there though. There you go, so then you just take that off. And you're good to go. Yeah, that's a good size, which I'm happy with, because my old phone came with a smaller one and it's always annoying. But I, I will also need, um, so you can easy transport as well. I also need one to plug into my wireless charging. And we've got, oh, these are quite nice actually. AKG headphones there. So presumably these are good because obviously Samsung normally just give you your, um, your just rants, Samsung, you know, the default ones that all phones do. I guess they had to step their game up a little bit since Apple have now got Beats. And then... They're pen tips, aren't they? No, that's headphone covers in there. You get a zoom in. How exciting. So that'll just be for there. So I'd... I'll probably use this now, actually, if it's got a mic. Yeah, because that'll probably be better quality to do my videos in. So I'll keep that there, because I'll use that to do Disney video later. I don't know what that is. Those, those are pen tips in there. Those are pen tips. 
So I'll put all of that in there. I'll keep this stuff out, which I'm going to need straight away. So let's get rid of all of this. And that shuts up nicely. It is, it is quite good. Um, oh, I can actually close it. It is quite good storage, to be fair. It's quite nice. So now, to get to the bit every single person has been waiting for, the greatest moment of our generation, our whole entire lives, has led up to this moment. And are you ready for it? Are you listening? Oh, that's, listen to that again. Now I'm going to pull it out. It made a sound as soon as I pulled that out. Look at that. And now they've, they've upgraded this. Focus on it. They've upgraded this pen. There we go. Yep, that will take Nice. So there it is. So you can see that from the, um, from the pen, it's upgraded, so you can do so much with it. Obviously, I'll, I'll, like I said, in a week's time, I'll sit down with Ethan and I'll go over my, the phone and, you know, I'll compare it to his phone just so I can do a bit of a back and forth, which isn't just me say how amazing it is because I am a bit of a Samsung fanboy. But you can see that, once again, I haven't used the pen, so if you'd like to pop it away and we can end this unboxing in style. And they also fixed the issue from the, was it the Note 7 where if you put the pen in the wrong way, it broke, it broke the phone. So what? now I believe you can put the pen in that way and you can put the pen in that way. They actually designed it. Yeah, I remember reading somewhere that if you put it in the wrong way on one of them, it broke it. So like I said, this isn't, this isn't a review of the phone. This was just an unboxing, so it's not gonna be turned on or anything. But a quick summary, phone looks good. It basically looks like the S9, all of their other Galaxy range, which is good, because that's what you've come to expect from a Galaxy phone. The pen is pretty decent. You, get, you actually get a, I'm guessing these are decent. I used a pair like this on my S9, which I actually lost, but I don't really like headphones like this because they tend not to fit in my ears. But there's that. And yeah, it was a pleasant unboxing experience. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more. You, 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 you got to let it go.